play the yes no game part three if you missed part one and two go back and watch that last thing i told you is the creaker was looking right at me i told Corey, it looks like someone is actually seeking you i pointed at the tree i don't think you should play that game anymore he looked over and didn't see anything and told me that my phasmophobia was really killing his mood and I mean, I do have a proclivity for trembling at everyday sights and sounds. In my mind, there's always been a ghost or ghoul around the corner. Ever since my parents passed, I had been that way. But I knew I had saw that thing behind the tree. But since I have phasmophobia, it makes it very difficult for people to believe me when I think I see or hear something. My friends told me to go home and just get some rest. At this point, I was starting to think maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'm on the verge of a psychotic break. The next day, around half six in the evening, on my drive home from work, Tanya called me. She was one of my friends that was in the park the day before. 